finally is here. Asmola, Mahabur, everyone was asking for. And in this video, we are going to show you the detail and how big or small this board is. Before we talk too much about the board, eh? here are some close up shots about the S2. First, let's talk about how we prove the concept. Firstly, obviously we start with a sketch, then goes over the design on a cut computer, and then finally the exciting part, which is the actual prototype. This was the first one, which it was about a year ago, and thanks to this, we proved the monoshock system. Thanks to this prototype, we were able to ride the board for many, many months in a different type of condition and environment, uh, improving the design, every step of the way. After the prototype, uh, we decided to start a small production batch of five units. As you can see, four frames are here, one is here at the back. These two boards are the board that we use for the launch video. We've been riding for three, four months and we've done plenty of kilometers and they absolutely exceed our expectation in how well they perform. Even though this board has exceeded our expectation, we still want to go to the next level. So we're going to give these five boards to our local riders so they can test to the extreme. So when you're going to get your boards, we're going to know that it's going to be 100% perfect. Now that we talk about the board, eh, let's go and take a closer look at its features. So we get a lot of questions about how big or small is this board. Eh? The dimension of the ES2 is 48 centimeters wide, 104 centimeters long, and about 23 centimeters high with an inch. Now, if we compare this to a more traditional mountain board, eh, we can see what is the difference. So as you can see from wheelbase to wheelbase, it's exactly the same length as a mountain board. The starting weight for this board is 16 kilograms. If you want to reduce the weight even further, you could choose the air shock which they will cut another half a kilogram uh, out of the total weight of the board. One of the differences uh, with the G4 and G4X uh, that this board has is that we went with the option of putting everything inside the board, inside the chassis box. This obviously helped to protect even further from water or even rock or different things that you might find along as you're riding. Since we talk about uh, the inside and how it's protected, Let's check out how all the components are laid out. The S2 also shares a lot of components with the big sister G4 and G4X, such as motors, motor controllers, drivetrain, suspensions, and so many other parts. These high quality components, uh, they've been used for many years from customers around the world. The best part of, of all of that is that all these components are already in stock and ready to be assembled with the S2, making the production a lot more smoother and efficient and quicker so we can deliver your product uh, in time. And here you have it, finally the S2 is here. I hope you enjoyed your video. Stay tuned for the next one where we're gonna talk about the options that you can choose and what the difference are.